Okay, welcome back. We're gonna try this stuff again here. Um, uh, okay, this is the design that we got out out of the atmosphere, but we did not get into an orbit. I want an orbit. So, uh, let's add some more fuel tanks. I don't think we didn't have enough fuel to get all to get into an orbit. We ran out of juice. More juice. Uh, Three-way symmetry is already on. Take that one off of there. Okay. Okay. All right. So we've got more fuel, means we got more mass, but we got more more juice too. Let's see what this does for us. Turn SAS on. Throttle it up. Launch. And away we go. Ooh, look at those things wobble. <laughs> I like watching them wobble. <laughs> Oh, I should put some. I should uh, put some straps on there. Those things are wiggling around like crazy. Wow! Can you roll even a little bit. Wow, not even a little bit. Yeah, I'm scared to. The way this thing's shaking, I'm scared to even turn the SAS SAS off for even a second here, you know? Oh, this is going to be a whole ball game. A whole different ball game, though. The only orbits I've done in the past are just tiny little capsule on there. Uh, just putting this space plane up on top of the stack changes everything. I'm going to have to totally relearn how to do all of this. This is great. <laughs> gets up to let's say 10,000 I'm gonna turn the SAS uh, turn off the SAS for just a second and try to get this thing pointing slightly towards the east instead of just straight up we'll see if that turns into a disaster I hope not coming up on 10,000 meters let's do this oh I hit the wrong button oh that was a bad idea Let's go with it, anyways. I just, I just, I just staged. Alright, turn the SAS off. Oh, turn it back on. There we go. Starting to overheat a little bit. Okay. Now. Oh, it got a lot quieter. Oh, man! Why are you pointing your nose down like that? Don't do that. Oh man, it's not responding to the controls here. Okay, got to roll. Um, yeah, I think the orbit isn't happening this time, guys. I think I, I didn't control it properly. Come on. Nose up, nose up, now nose down, nose down, nose down. This is just totally just flat out unstable. This thing is just flopping around everywhere. Scary. Got scary music going on with it. But two out of three of my Kerbal Nuts are smiling about it, so I guess things can't be that bad for us, right? Oh, come on, stop that. They're losing altitude here. 19,000 meters. 18,000 meters. There we go. Can we at least slow down or descend? <laughs>
because things just went bad. So, alright, now let's try to get some control here. Get the nose pointed in the direction of travel so we get air moving across the control surfaces in a in a reasonable fashion. Oop. Okay, okay. Not like that. No, see, that's the opposite of what I said. <laughs> okay, oh, almost. Almost. Turn SAS on for a second. Good, good. No, bad. Okay. Good. Now... And pull out of it. I wasn't worried. Not for a second was I worried. <laughs> oh, here, there's a ca chase camera actually working correctly for once. I hit chase camera and it actually swiveled around behind me. Now where is... oh, there's Kerbal Space Center's back there. Alright guys, let's go home. Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking that this set of challenges that I've assigned myself, uh, this is gonna be good, this is gonna be fun, because just simply making orbit, even just a simple orbit, is going to be difficult. So that's good. Throttle up a little bit. Let's actually do time compression now. We don't spend five days getting back to base. So I believe, you know, my, my Kerbal program here um, is, is not going to have a real great success rate. Why is my camera wanting to spin around that direction? Stop doing that. It's, yeah, not, Wow, what the hell is going wrong with this camera? Camera auto, camera free, camera chase. There we go. Yeah, uh, we'll have about the... We well, won't have a really good success rate, but... I do believe that the, the plan here of using these aircraft instead of capsules and parachutes, I believe that I, it's a good chance that I will have a uh, much better survival rate for my curb knots. So, I'm happy about that. Why is the camera freaking out? It wasn't doing this earlier whenever I was just playing with the game. Let's do free mode, okay. Don't worry, Bill. Don't worry, Bob. Yeah, Bob looks more worried than Bill does. That's unusual. I think that that means Jeb must be the pilot there in the middle. I'm not. I think Bill and Bob are mission specialists. They do other stuff. They monitor systems and whatnot. But Jeb's the guy. He's he's the only happy one. He must be the one who's flying. Gently, gently. Whoops. Okay, not that gentle. You can land. Land. There we go. Okay! Failed to orbit. Succeeded in landing. I call that a win. Here, let me try and change some other settings here. Alright, let's get back into this. I was having some weird frame rate issues. I changed a couple of settings. We'll see if that fixes it. My computer's more than strong enough to play this game. But as always, every time I start recording, just things get a little bit different. So, the problem, some of the part of the problem here, this thing was wiggling around all over the place. Where did my straps go? Strut connectors! Right. 
try to stop this thing from wiggling around so much. Adds a little bit of mass. We would really want to be careful about how much mass we add to this thing. Okay. One small change. Let's launch it. See how this one works. SAS is on. Throttle up. Let's go. Less wiggling off the pad. That's good. Take a look and see the lower left corner, the indicator of, of the what the SAS is doing to the controls. I'm going to full full deflection for pitch and yaw here. Rapidly back and forth. So if that first stage, where if that, see that the whole list of the icons of everything on, over on the left-hand side, uh, we've burned through one. Uh, okay, well of the. Okay, so we've got three layers of three tanks in that first stage. We burned through the first layer, so three tanks down, six to go. Coming up on ten thousand. This is where I really screwed it up last time. I think this time. I think this time I am not going to turn the SAS off until we get rid of the first stage. And we'll just go straight up all the way. Coming up on 20,000. Okay, and there's six empty fuel tanks. Now we're burning our last three tanks for the first stage. Move that camera around. Ooh, there, you can, there you can see. There's the moon. That's the goal. That's the prize. That moon over there. Wow, look at this control surfaces go. <laughs> Past 30,000, so we're out of the lower atmosphere. Okay, turn the SAS off. Let's try it this way. I'm going to point over here. To horizontal. Turn the SAS back on to lock it in there. Bam! Light that candle. It's probably a very inefficient way to get to orbit. Okay, let's take a look. So we've got a high parabola here. You can see it's already expanding out that direction some. Okay, shut it down for now, and we'll do some more thrusting once I get up there to, up to the apoapsis. Okay, so the things you're looking at on the screen here... Oh wow, this thing is very sluggish responding to the controls, come on. 
uh, yeah, things are looking down the bottom, this nav ball. It's actually, as I fly, I spend most of my time just staring at that thing. So with the orange reticle in the center, that's where my, um, that's where my nose is pointing. The yellow mark is, that's the direction, uh, the direction that the ship is actually traveling. So, uh, the pink mark there, you can see that's the direction back to the launch pad. It always points straight to the launch pad. It doesn't get, it doesn't necessarily tell you what direction to go to get to the launch pad, because it, you know, it'll point straight through planets. Uh, let's go ahead and look over to the other side here while I'm talking about this stuff. Over on the opposite side, this pink mark. Uh, I said it. I said it backwards. The one before this pink mark. That one's toward the, the towards the launch pad. The other pink mark was away from the launch pad. Uh, this yellow mark here with the X inside of it. That is the opposite of my direction of travel. Okay. Oh, almost up to Apoapsis. I got to talking about this stuff and I should have been messing with this. Okay, turn SAS on. And let's do some launch. Let's do some thrusting. Let's see what that does. See it very gradually, smoothly. Opens up that orbit. Opens up that trajectory, I should say. Roll horizontal here. Oops. Oh, that SAS doesn't want to let me. Okay, we're almost down to, almost used up their first of our two fuel tanks on this stage. Trajectory's opening up some, that's good. To keep it most efficient, I want to keep it centered in the direction of travel here. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. This, I think we're going to orbit this one. Still got two-thirds of the tank fuel left. Still lined up correctly. Apoapsis, 200-something. And... About to get that periapsis out, out of the surface of the planet. Periapsis. That's the low point of this elliptical orbit. Okay, let's actually shut this down for right now because my apoapsis moved over here. Done. This is a stable orbit. Uh, the upper reaches of the atmosphere reach up to 70,000 meters. So the lowest point of my orbit is now 90,000 meters, which means I can just orbit up here forever. Success! I'm keeping it... Okay, I'm, I didn't keep it just perfectly aligned with that east line. So if I, you know, if I was... Or eventually, I, you know, um, I want to practice keeping a, just a perfect equatorial orbit because that'll make eventual uh, move towards getting to the moon much, much easier. You can see I'm almost aligned with the equatorial orbit, but just not quite. But, success! Phase 1, orbit Kerbin. Well, actually, I guess we haven't quite orbited yet, but you know, let's do some time compression.